Hi guys, I'm Tiana Michelle and in today's video, I'm gonna be putting my hair in a puff while sharing tips on how to moisturize low porosity hair. So at first, low porosity hair can seem really tough to deal with because it's super hard to get moisture into your hair. But once you figure out how to moisturize your hair, the entire process becomes so much easier. First off, water is your friend, especially when you learn how to get it into your hair. My hair is extremely low porosity, so it repels water. And I have to go about different methods to make sure that the water is getting into my hair. You should learn two key differences. Your hair needs hydration and moisture. Hydration and moisture are not the same thing. Moisturizing products aim to seal while hydrating products aim to attract moisture in your hair. So if you live in a very humid environment, you may notice that your hair doesn't react as well to humectants. So that's just something to look into. Drinking water, if you don't like to drink water, start drinking water. Drinking water really does help with the hydration of your skin, your hair, your nails, everything. Styling with warm water really helps with getting that hydration into low porosity hair as well as pressing water in. I style with warm water, I wash my hair with warm water, I use warm water throughout my entire wash day process. And as you can see, I also press that water in so that it's not just sitting on top of my hair. That's extremely important, especially if you have super duper low porosity hair like I do. Low porosity hair does not need heavy products to get the moisture that you need. You need a product where it's molecular makeup, like the actual makeup of the product is small enough to penetrate your strands. As far as moisturizing goes, when it comes to finding the right gels for yourself, I like to use EcoStyler gel, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not moisturizing. Moisturizing gels include flaxseed and marshmallow root. I've learned that that works amazingly with moisturizing my hair and keeping it healthy. I'm not sure if that's the same for all people with low porosity hair, but if it is, or if you have any tips that you can share with anyone watching this video, just leave it down in the comment box below. Now, when it comes to moisturizers like twisting creams, I personally prefer creams over butters. There is a difference. When you purchase a butter versus a gel, you'll notice that the consistency is a lot different. Once you learn how to take care of low porosity hair, it's really not hard to maintain. So if you need a rewind or anything, just go ahead and click that pause button and grab your pen and pencil and take your notes, girl. Also, Heat, let's talk about heat. Direct heat such as flat irons, blow dryers, those are not good for natural hair, but indirect heat is your friend. Indirect heat can be anything from your own body heat after you put a shower cap on, a steamer or a hooded dryer. Those really help with deep conditioning. The number one way that I am able to moisturize my low porosity hair is by deep conditioning with indirect heat. The key is indirect heat. And if you are tight on funds and you can't afford to spend money, deep conditioning caps are extremely affordable and you can pop them into the microwave or you can get in the shower, use the steam, or just be cleaning around the house. Exercising and allowing your own body heat to open up your hair's cuticles. You wanna go the cheap, cheap route. You can use a grocery bag as well. If you have low porosity hair, understand that shampoo is not your enemy. You need to cleanse your hair. If I use a co-wash, it causes buildup. My hair is not clean. My hair does not turn out well. I finally realized that I had a piece of hair on my face. I use a sulfate free shampoo once a week. I may go on with the scalp detox like once a month. I have the products here, so let me get them for you. So usually I will cleanse my hair every week with this shampoo by Mish Beauty. I do have a coupon code with them, so if you wanna get money off on your purchase, just use the code Tiana. I will leave that information down in the description box, but this is my favorite shampoo to use currently. It smells amazing. I'm able to detangle with it. It gently cleanses my hair without stripping it of its moisture. And when I want to get like a real clarify, I'll use this once a month. Curl Smith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. It has really fine beads, so it gently exfoliates your scalp without being too harsh. 
pay attention to how your hair reacts to oil. If oil works for you and you use oil as a sealant, which it is meant to be used to seal your hair, by all means, continue using it. But not everybody needs oil. If you notice that you tried with all your might to make oil work and it's not working for you, you may wanna think about eliminating that from your hair routine. Now, I do use oil on my scalp because it's really helped me eliminate some scalp issues that I've had in the past. So I put oil on my scalp, but I do not put it on my hair. If any of you guys have your favorite puff string, I have had this string since I went natural in 2015 and I refuse to do a puff with any other item. I don't know why I'm like this, but this old dusty string has such a dear place in my heart. <laughs> Comment down below and let me guys know if you guys have a hair tie, a string, a headband, one thing that you use for your puff and you refuse to use anything else because that's how I am. And this last tip is probably the most important tip that I have for you guys. And that would be to limit the amount of products that you use and develop a consistent routine. Just like anything that you want to learn or improve at, whether it's learning how to drive a car or getting in shape for your fitness journey, you need a routine to see actual results. Routine and products are completely different. Just because you use a lot of products or expensive products on your hair does not mean that your hair is going to be healthy. It's completely different than a routine. Honestly, you don't need that many products. You do not need to use four different styling products. So unless I'm clarifying, when it comes to wash day, I only use one shampoo, I don't use a conditioner because it's not really a necessity for me. I use a deep conditioner to detangle and moisturize my hair. And sometimes I will use a leave-in conditioner, but only if I'm doing a wash and go. So for the most part, I don't use a leave-in conditioner, but I'll still include it because I use it occasionally. Then I will use a oil solely to moisturize my scalp. And lastly, I will go in with my styling product. So on a regular day, I only use four to five different products and one styling product to keep my hair maintained. If you have to use three to four different products just to get one product to work, Try switching it up and seeing if you can find a product that does everything all in one. So that is pretty much it for this video. Let me turn around so you guys can see my puff. I hope it provided helpful tips that you will be able to implement into your own hair care routine. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember that your support helps me out so much more than you know, especially as a smaller and newer channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I will leave the button right here for you and I will see you guys all next Friday. Bye-bye.